Defective airbags are going to cost Honda $85 million after reaching a settlement. CBS 17 consumer investigator Steve Sprazia spoke with the Attorney General following today's announcement and has a breakdown on what this means for people in North Carolina. These airbags supplied to Honda by Takata were first installed in Honda vehicles starting in the 2001 model year. North Carolina Attorney General Josh Stein says an investigation shows Honda engineers suspected early on that the ammonium nitrate propellant in the airbags could burn aggressively and cause the airbag inflators to burst, sending deadly shrapnel into the person they were intended to protect. They knew there were problems but they failed to adequately disclose it to customers. According to the settlement, more than 14 people were killed and over 200 injured by the defective airbags in Honda vehicles. Any company that knows that there's a problem with the airbag has an incredible obligation to get that information out there. The settlement alleges that Honda delayed telling people about the problem and didn't start recalls till 2008. Since that time, the company has recalled nearly 13 million Honda and Acura vehicles equipped with faulty inflators. The $85 million national settlement will provide North Carolina drivers with almost two and a half million in funds. The paramount factor in any car purchase is safety. Anybody who's driving that car down the road needs to know that if they get into a crash, they're going to have the best chance of survival. The settlement also wants to make sure that Honda owners will be kept safe in the future. So as part of the settlement, Honda will ensure future airbag designs include fail-safe features to protect passengers if the inflator ruptures, improve record keeping and parts tracking, require Honda to approve all new frontal airbag designs before the company will consider them for use in new vehicles, and implement mandatory whistleblower protection. How difficult was, the, was it to get all those other provisions in there along with the well, th this case took a long time to negotiate. If you want to see how the settlement affects your vehicle, I've included some links in today's web story so you can check and see if your car is affected. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasher.